Both the striking teacher unions and the government side appeared before the National Labor Commission, NLC. During deliberations, the government side presented its issues, praying the NLC to compare the teachers to call off their strike. The teacher unions also advanced the argument that their strike was to demand the removal of the Director General Dr. Eric Nkansa of the Ghana Education Service, GES. After that, the National Labor Commission gave its ruling compelling the teachers to call off their strike. Ofuswa Samuel is executive secretary of the National Labor Commission, NLC. Were their concerns justified before the commission? The commission saw reason that they had something that they could complain of, but they have to engage with the ministry. So they have been given one week to engage with government on the two issues that they raised. That is the appointment of Dr. Nkansa, that's Eric Nkansa as um, director general of GES, and then the extension of time for the deputy director general, who after his retirement, he has been given extension to be in office. The deputy minister of employment and labor relations, Brian Turekubrobe, lauded the NLC for its ruling, but was hopeful the teacher unions will call off their strike. Wouldn't you have engaged them rather than come to the National Labor Congress seeking a third party intervention? Because you were supposed to meet. And the same very issues are before the Commission. Wouldn't you have engaged them rather than come to the NLC? In the regular court system, we even have appellate bodies. We have engaged them twice. And in all cases, you covered. So if we are now at a stage where we feel that the National Labor Commission should come in and assist with this mediation, they have done so. And I think the ruling has been very clear. Both parties were happy. Uh, we have shown gratitude to Labor Commission. We sought to find out whether dragging the unions before the NLC shows smacks of bad faith. Design of the, an unfair labor practice. That is not fair to government. We have not subpoenaed them to Labor Commission. As a government who respects rule of law, we only wrote to Labor Commission. That has mandate to be intervening in such impasse. And we have been here, and they have had given all of us fantastic hearing. However, the teacher unions declined to speak to the media, and angrily walked out to the premises of the National Labor Commission.